as the Hamas rocket attacks stretch into their seventh day, ceasefire efforts in Egypt are going on to try to resolve the crisis, with Israel giving Egyptian officials more time to try to broker a ceasefire with Hamas. Both sides have presented conditions for ending the violence, and the question is now whether they can come to an entente which will see the rocket fire, which has border residents living in life-threatening danger every moment, cease. Businesses on both sides have been paying the price for the continuing conflict. This Gaza shop owner complained about business being down as the Hamas tactic of launching offences from densely populated areas puts hundreds of thousands in danger every day. With schools on both sides closed, children have been spending their days in other ways, while residents of Sterot, around two to three kilometres from Gaza, have been going to a nearby hilltop to get some fresh air and witness Israel's retaliatory strikes against Gaza. Viewing is frequently interrupted by air raid sirens, indicating rockets firing overhead. On this occasion, the Iron Dome defence system intercepted the rocket. Israelis have expressed strong backing for Operation Pillar of Defense's attacks by air. A poll taken by panels for the Israeli Center for Political Training showed 85% believed that embarking on Operation Pillar of Defense was the correct course of action, with 45% believing airstrikes should continue, compared to just 25% who support a ground offensive. Prime Minister Netanyahu and Defense Minister Barak emerged well from polls, with an overwhelming majority of Israelis not believing they began the operation for political reasons and being largely happy with their performance in the operation. Also in polls, 57% of Americans stated they support the Israeli military campaign, while only 13% side with the Palestinians.